Hi! So this is definitely going to be a vlog time, but it may or may not go into a rant. I'm just, I'm not 100% today. Um, yeah. I don't know where I'm going to go. I'm, I'm all over the place right now. Um, I'm really sleep deprived, and that's when I get crazy. And I've been sick. So let's just, let's just go into it. Um, yeah, so my birthday was on Thursday, and I'm officially 19, and I don't feel any different. And, um, that's about it. That's, that's what happened on my birthday. I had, um, I had people come over, and we watched some motherfucking Shark Week, because I had my priorities straight that week to watch it. Because everyone else is all concerned about stupid stuff. No, it was shark time. Shark time. And I'm... F and I'm, I'm still committed to the sharks. You see this? Yeah, that's sharky right there. Oh, I touch stuff. Yeah, sharky. Um, yeah. I was committed to Shark Week. I still am. And I hate the people who are like, you know there are shark shows on during the year? Yes, motherfucker. I'm, I'm aware of that. I don't just come out of my, my, like, out from under my rock just for Shark Week. That's the only time I watch, um, the TV. Yeah, it's the only time that the TV's on is during Shark Week. It's off all year. I don't even know what's going on until it's motherfucking Shark Week time. No, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm very aware, and I watch those programs too, but if there is a whole week about fucking sharks, you get into it, okay? And I'm really sick of the people that are like, we want to be nonconformists and just go against Shark Week because everyone else is going with it. Okay, so whatever. I'm just gonna leave those people alone because they're missing out on like one of the most fucking epic weeks ever. It's like a week about sharks, shark attacks, um, different kinds of sharks. I am filled with so many useless shark facts now. It's like retarded. And um, just amazing stories about sharks. And you know what? That whole week, if I had to give it one word, it would be majestic. Shit was majestic. And I loved it. And I'm really upset that it's over. I will watch shark programs elsewhere. During the year. Because apparently they're on. Because I didn't, I had no idea. But seriously. I hate the people that are like, I refuse to watch Shark Week. I'm never watching Shark Week. I've never watched a Shark Week. Shark Week is stupid. I hate Shark Week. Everyone's talking about Shark Week. Shark Week so dumb. Okay. I get it that the only reason... Well, the only valid reason you have to hate Shark Week is because everybody likes it. Um, that's really stupid. Um, instead of wasting time thinking that you're cool by trying to start debates and debacles and just be against fucking Majestic Shark Week, why don't you just get your fucking priority straight and get into it because it's awesome. And you know, the first Shark Week happened on July 27th, 1987. Yeah, I know that. Again, filled with shark facts. Stupid. No one's ever gonna ask me about shark facts, but I know them. So, you know what? Maybe I'll make a video about shark facts. And maybe I'll teach you guys about sharks. It'll be like a semi-educational moment. About sharks. Oh, well, I got this for my birthday. It is a Batman glass that says, Wanna come back to my bat cave? Yeah, wanna come to my bat cave. And I got a Captain America one, too. It's pretty sick. Um, sorry, I'm still sick. I need to drink water. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, so... All the people conforming against Shark Week are just tools. Sorry that I enjoy fucking majestic sharks, and I'm just gonna be excited about it. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so on my birthday party, this, that was... That was a good little rant for me about Shark Week, and now this will help me with a story. So, um, I had friends over on my birthday, and, um, see, I'm sick. I'm good. I'm solid. Um, I've been sick all week, and during my birthday, so, like, I was still sick, and I just had people over, so I wasn't, like, raging. And we're all just sitting around watching some Shark Week, you know? Because it's great and everyone loves fucking Shark Week, except for those idiots that are nonconformists and don't want to watch it. And we're all having a good time, and we're waiting for um, the the 90s block to come on, because we're all like, yeah, we're going to watch this together, it's going to be cool. And um, so, 
we're all just hanging out watching Shark Week, and then my friend's like, oh, my two friends are gonna come by, and I was like, oh, okay, whatever. And they're just kind of like, oh, happy birthday, and I was like, yeah, thanks, um, hi. And, uh, and then those two, well, one of them, the one that actually talked, was all like, I'm not gonna watch Shark Week. Ugh. I've never watched a Shark Week, and I will never watch a Shark Week, and it's like, cause you're a fucking retard, cause you don't even know about Shark Week, you have no idea. And she just kinda like went on like that, and I was like, um, yeah, I gotta go, I gotta go make some tea. Cause that's all I was drinking, I was drinking tea, and I bought myself this for my sickness. Yeah, I bought myself a David Bowie mug, and I'm gonna start a collection of mugs. Because I drink so much tea, I need cool mugs. Just saying. Um, so I was like, yeah, I gotta go. I'm gonna go make some tea. I'm over this. And then, apparently, they were talking about the 90s block. And then they, and they hate the 90s block, too. Like, how do you hate two great things? How do you hate fucking Shark Week? And how do you hate the 90s block? Especially if you grew up in the fucking 90s. Like, before this came on, I was, like, I would watch, like, old episodes on YouTube. Like, in three different parts. Like, and half the all that you gotta, like, track down because they're not together and it's annoying. And now it's on TV every night. That's amazing. And I'm excited about it. And and they're just like, yeah, we don't like the, the all that either. Or Keaton and Kel. It's like, bitches, seriously, are you guys on crack? Please, please let me know if you're on crack. Um, how, seriously, like, how do you hate shows that you grew up watching? I still love them. I still think they're fucking hilarious. How do you do that? How does that happen? I don't know, but then they left, and I was like, thank God, because, again, just one of, just those people that you don't like, and you've got that feeling, and then when they start talking, you really don't like them. Hating on sharks and all that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But, after that, it was good, and we all watched all that and had fun. And, I just drank tea all night, and sulked. <laughs> Sad. But also, like this, before all the, like, before the 90s vlog, like, premiered, I was reading, like, all the articles about it, because I was like, I didn't believe people when they told me, and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, so I was like reading all the articles, and all of them talk about how we're all being nostalgic, all of us 90s children, because we're just so happy about it, and like, like, the feelings, and we're all being nostalgic, and... Then, later on, on Clarissa Explains It All the other night, she was talking about being nostalgic. And I was like, whoa, alright. She knows. She knew this was going to happen in the future. And she was planning. And she planned ahead. And she was talking about it because she knew this shit was going to go down. So, that's my a little theory there. Um, yeah. It, they keep playing all that, and then Keenan Kell, and then Clarissa, and then Doug. I want to see some Legends of the Hidden Temple, which I actually watched last night on the internet. I want to see some Pete and Pete, because I love Danny Temporelli so much. I want to see some Are You Afraid of the Dark, because scary. That intro is still scary, and we all know it. Seriously, it's creepy as fuck. Anyway, so that was my birthday time, that was good, and then, um, yeah, that was it. I was gonna have a bouncy castle on Saturday at that party, but it was raining, so it was gonna be this Sunday, but it's postponed again because this Sunday I am gonna take a road trip and I'm gonna go see Blink-182. Yeah, I'm really excited, um. They're going to be in my area tomorrow, and I, I don't have tickets for it, so my friend was like, yeah, I got tickets, and I was like, what? I have literally been waiting 11 years since I was, like, 8, when I got Enema of the State on the CD, the CD, if you know what that is still, um, for Christmas, and I, I, I've been waiting since then, and I came, and I'm so excited, I'm so excited, see, excited motion. <laughs> So I do, and I'm excited. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. And then Tuesday is Kesha and LMFAO, and I'm going to shuffle my little booty off. I conveniently bought aisle seats for that one so I can shuffle in the aisles. I've been working on it. I'm still, rusty. I'm still working on it, though. But I love shuffling. So much fun. Every day I'm shuffling. And you know what? I don't care 
it's, I love that that song is played a million times a day, okay? And I don't care if you hate it because it's been played so many times. There are so many other songs that I've played so many times I hate, but that's not one of them. I love LMFAO, like I love them. I mean, I don't know if anyone knows this, but they had a whole album in 2009 that happened. I don't know if anyone knows that, but it did. And it's great. So check, check it out then. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm really tired. <laughs> um, thanks to everyone that subscribed. I want to say that too. 643. That makes me feel 639 times better than before. It's, I, like, I was thinking about so many things to talk about in this video. Now I can't even think about it. Like, uh, it's the sickness. It's the sickness. Oh my god, um, I didn't go to German class what, two days last week, and then I went today, and then I left at the break time. I was like, ah, I'm just gonna leave. I can't handle this today. <laughs> so I'm gonna go tomorrow, because work is killing me. Killing me! Yes. Oh, there were some riots in London. And all I can think about is the Smith song. Better go the streets of London. Better go the streets. I'm not gonna sing it, but we all know how it goes. That was it. That was my piece about the, <laughs> the riots in London. I mean, it's not even over a sports event or anything. It was about a bro that got shot by cops, and and then some other shit happened, and then there was rumors and riots. It wasn't even like a sports event or like that da electric daisy festival one that happened in LA, I think. That was stupid, but hey, a riot's a riot. And they're, they're fun. I, mean, I haven't been in one yet. And I, I kind of hope I don't. I'm not in one, but I mean, looting seems fun, and uh, that's about it. I mean, I'm not a big fan of fire. I don't know. So that's it. Also, um, yeah, since this video sucks, please just give me ideas for videos, because I, can, I don't want to think about topics. I mean, I can make a shark video, but I don't think I will, because it's, that's boring, and you should have watched Dark Week. Yeah, so, I think I taught... I think I taught everybody a, a valuable lesson on um, not being a nonconformist. And you know what? If you just conform and go with it, and not even not even conform and going with it, if you enjoy something that is popular and that a bunch of people like, who gives who gives a shit? Like it's you like it and you find it really cool. Just just enjoy it. S fuck fuck the mentality of being like. Oh, everyone likes it. I totally can't like it right now. Totally can't like it right now. So I'm gonna not conform to it. Fuck that shit. I love Shark Week. And I don't give a fuck. And I saw all the videos on YouTube about, like, oh, I hate Shark Week, blah, blah, blah. I don't give a shit. This video on YouTube, I love Shark Week. Sharks are fucking majestic. Bull sharks are dickheads. Just saying, I hate them. Um, yeah, so. Screw. Screw, like, conforming. Well falling into the idea of conforming, and then, and really just fuck the non-conforming idealisms, because stupid in the end. Like, I don't give a shit about anything. I really don't. I don't give a shit what people think. I don't care what people say. I don't care what people do, as long as they're not trying to, like, stab me. Just do whatever you want. Do what you want. I do what I want, and I don't care. Because I'm not, yeah, see, see, I just don't care. And you know why? And you know what happens when you don't care about what, what people think about you or what people say about you or how you're coming off or trying to be cool or whatever? You know what happens when you don't care about anything and you just focus on yourself? You become happy. Like, happy as a bean. That's what I like to say. I am happy as a bean all the time. Like, sometimes I'm too happy. It's, like, to the point where it's sickening. Like, I'm happy right now for no for no reason. I, I don't know. I've just been happy all day. Like, I'm happy all the time. I, I don't know. Just happy all the time. And it's retarded. And 
it's because I don't care and I'm having fun. So, I would like to think that that, that was the overall theme to this video. And if you didn't get that theme, just take from it what you can. Yes. Also, please leave me video ideas. Because this one obviously sucked. Um, sorry. <laughs> See, like, I don't even care. I don't even care. Sorry. It happens. Um, video ideas, questions. I love questions because I really want to do a Q&A video. And I don't feel like writing up my own questions and pretending that people ask me them. So, please do so. Also, follow me on the Twitter, because I love to tweet at the work, because I get bored. Um, yes, and Daily Booth. All my links are in the description. And they're there all the time. Just saying. So check them out. And thank you for watching. Sorry again, this video is shit. And thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe you should consider it. I don't know, watch a few other videos. Because again, this is shit. So sorry. It's going to be uploaded anyway. Alrighty. Jeez.